द सिस्टमैटिक रिकॉर्ड ऑफ फिंगर प्रिंट वॉज मच नीडेड टू रिकॉर्ड द फिंगर प्रिंट्स ऑफ क्रिमिनल द ओरिजिनल सिस्टम वॉज डिवाइस कूड एकोमोडेट वन लैक सेट्स ऑफ प्रिंट सो इट वॉज नेसेसरी टू एक्सपांड द कैपेसिटी ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन सिस्टम एज कलेक्शन ग्रीव इन साइज ऑन दैट नोट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लोर द प्राइमरी क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ फिंगर प्रिंट हेलो गाइज आई एम तुषार राजाराम आहिरे आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माई चैनल टी ओ एफ तुषार्स ऑनलाइन फॉरेंसिक्स सो विदाउट एनी डिले लेट्स एक्सप्लोर द फॉरेंसिक्स before exploring our topic i want to notify you about the nta ugc net exams the exams have been postponed due to the pandemic for detail and upcoming updates you can visit the nta ugc net site the notification link is given in the description box below you can go and check it out the primary classification system was developed by sir edward richard henry is also well known as 10 digit classification first step to obtaining the primary classification is to pair up the fingers in this manner right thumb right index first pair right middle right ring second pair right little left thumb third pair left index left middle fourth pair left ring left little fifth pair now we have to keep one finger in the numerator of fraction and other one is in denominator of the fraction like this right index upon right thumb right ring upon right middle left thumb upon right little left middle upon left index and left little upon left ring the primary classification of fingerprint is determined on the basis of presence or absence of whorl pattern if the whorl pattern is present on any finger of first pair the value assigned is 16 if the whorl pattern is present on second pair of the fingers the value assigned is 8 for third pair it is 4 for fourth pair it is 2 and for last pair it is 1 if any fingers containing an arch or loop the value assigned is 0 after values for all 10 fingers are obtained in this manner they are totaled and one is added to both numerator and denominator the fraction thus obtained is primary classification for example if the right index and the right little is having the whorl pattern and all other fingers are having either arch or loop pattern then the primary classification is 17 by 5 the maximum value for this fraction is 32 by 32 and the minimum value is 1 by 1 about 25% of the population is having the 1 by 1 fraction that is all their fingers are having either arch or either loop now guys it's time to give an answer of a question which i have asked in last video the question was what is acev process the acev is an acronym for four step process that is analysis comparison evaluation and verification which is used to identify and individualize the fingerprint the detailed answer is on your screen you can pause the video and read it carefully now question for this video who helped sir e r henry for the development of classification system of fingerprint you can comment your answer in comment box below so that's it for this video guys thank you for your love and support if you haven't subscribed my channel please press the subscribe button to explore the forensics please like and share this video to your friends and family we'll meet in the next video Till then bye bye thank you